Hello there Valiant fans and welcome to the 2016 Manhattanville College Senior Spotlight Special. This is Ty Snagler and joining me is senior men's soccer midfielder Omar Parra. Omar, it's been so far a successful year for the Valiants as you guys have gotten off to a good start. Can you talk about how Manhattanville has done this year? Yeah, we've uh, from the get-go, from preseason, we did really well getting the new guys in and um, demonstrating them the culture that we have on this team of uh, hard work and we, we, we told them the objective of this year uh, to, to win games, to win conference and from the get-go it was just hard work from everyone. And along with the great season for the team, you've also been able to lead the Valiants this year. You have 12 goals on the year, which is actually double what you had in the previous three years combined. What's been the key maybe for you this year that you know has really helped you come out and have a big offensive year for the Valiants? Um, I think the key has been confidence. Uh, from the first game, the coach gave me a lot of confidence of uh, playing my game and uh, also the, the hard work from the players around me. Uh, for them being able to find me and uh, being able to create connections with uh, some players on the team. And uh, it's just improving every other game. Um, even if I miss three shots or four, uh, the coach has been giving me confidence to just keep going and and just uh, keep, keep creating cr connections, keep shooting, and just hoping for the best. Then you're also part of probably the most diverse group of players or even, you know, group of students on campus, several different nations, you know, cultures, nationalities, all coming together on one team. So how can you guys, you know, even commute, communicate on the field and then also, you know, you know, getting along and, you know, interacting with all these guys from all these different areas of the world? Yeah, I think we have about five different languages. It could be in one training session, but uh, I think... For the most part, we it's like a family on this team. And uh, even the new guys, some of the older guys, we've been able to mesh perfectly and create really good chemistry on this team. Um, and I think our common objective as a team is to, to enjoy this game, to really uh, work hard, and, and we all want to win. That's, that's our common language. And you can see it on the field that at practice. It's just a good vibe all around, and we're getting results from it. And this year, Kyle does tell comes in as your head coach. You had Greg Miller in your previous three years. Can you talk about having a deal with the coaching change and how you, along with the returners, were able to transition and, like you say, you know, continue to keep that successful Manhattanville program still going? Yeah, I think uh, Coach Des really, really respected what we had already done the past three years with Coach Greg. And uh, he kind of came in and uh, built upon that and added his own philosophies into it, which has been great. And um, he's really given the players confidence and really uh, let us become our own type of, build our own type of team philosophy to whereas uh, we, play, we, we play opponents now with much, much more confidence. And we stick to our style. Even if we're down, we have, uh, we've built a lot of character as a team and uh, we, we can match up with anyone now. You come all the way from Gulfport, Mississippi. How did you even hear about Manhattanville, and then what was it that made you decide to, to become a, a Valiant? My first visit to Manhattanville was after um, an assistant coach recruited me at a national tournament, Disney. Uh, my club team won, and uh, after my first visit, I knew that this was a program that had a lot of culture, that had a lot of uh, goals of uh, winning big things, and I really liked that challenge. And uh, after my first visit, I knew I wanted to become a part of this program and, and hopefully do something big. And uh, that, that's been the process so far. And this year, really want to win conference and uh, give the program something before I go. And you have abundance of returners that are going to be coming back next year for the Manhattanville men's soccer program team. So, you know, the future continues to look bright for the Valiants. What advice would you give to those guys to help set them up to have a successful career like yourself? The advice I would give is just to work hard, improve. I mean, the, the school, the team, the culture really provides all the assets you need to to become successful here as a team. I think uh, it's very important that, that the confidence stays there, the belief that, that this can match any other top program in the in the nation. We've, we've, we've shown it against some of the teams already this season, and I think it's just having that confidence, having that will to, to win 
and to really improve every other day, take it day by day, game by game, and I think that's the biggest thing. And then finally, Omar, it's the most important time of the year. It's all conference games from here on out. What do you hope to accomplish before you hang the cleats up for the final time? Uh, the big, the, the trophy to to really win conference. I, I want to win this. Uh, all the guys on this team, I know, have the same goal. And uh, take it game by day. Um, and after conference, hopefully, get into nationals and, and prove that, that we're we're a top contender in the nation. We could we could we could play up any other team, and uh, yeah. But conference is the big the big one for me. Yeah. Thanks, so, Omar. Congrats on a great career, and good luck the rest of the year. Thank you. And that was senior Omar Parr for Manhattanville College's men's soccer team. This is Ty Snagler signing out for the Manhattanville College Senior Spotlight Special. Oh, oh, oh.